you know, our lives are a bit smaller and we're probably reflecting on what goes on in our, in our homes a little more than usual. Uh, we know that people can have more vivid dreams if they've had a period of dreaming less. So if they've been sleep deprived for a period of time and suddenly they're getting longer periods of sleep or deeper periods of sleep, they can sometimes have more uh, vivid dreams. And also if, if you've got a difficult emotional situation, sometimes your dreams will be a bit more vivid. We don't know the full role of REM sleep or dreaming sleep, but it would appear that it um, has to do with processing complex emotional and communications information from our day. So if you're under a stressful situation, which I think the COVID lockdown is for everybody, um, it's not unusual that that would come out in your dreams or you take the opportunity to process it somehow in your dreaming. So things to improve your sleep at night time uh, in the wind down to going to sleep is the most important thing is to have a routine, so to try and get to bed at approximately the same time every night and have some sort of a wind down routine that works for you. Um, generally it's a good idea to avoid screens for a period of time before you go to sleep. Uh, screens can be quite stimulating to your brain, they contain a lot of blue light which can inhibit your sleep and also the content of what you're doing on screens can affect things as well. So for example social media where people are asking you questions or maybe telling you things that you're either happy or not happy about can um, interrupt your ability to relax and get off to sleep. So trying to find some sort of activity that is non-screen based to wind down and get off to sleep and make that part of your routine is good. Um, People often find it difficult to find something like that. There's plenty of boring things to do around the house, like fold the washing or you know tidy the shelves. We can paint your nails, or um, sometimes reading a book is very pleasant, or listening to a podcast if you're not so into reading. But anything that doesn't involve a screen as part of your routine to get off to sleep can be helpful.